where the stork brings babies from. For every person, there is an original in a fairy tale. One need only look long enough. A beauty asks the mirror whether she is the fairest of all, like the queen in Snow White. She who is fretful and fastidious, even unto death, was created after the goat, which repeats the verse. I've had enough. Can't eat the stuff. Bleat, bleat. A careworn but unembittered man is like the little bent old lady gathering wood who meets the good Lord without recognizing him and is blessed with all her own because she helped him. Another went out into the world as a lad to seek his fortune, got the better of numerous giants, but had to die all the same in New York. A girl braves the wilderness of the city like Little Red Riding Hood to bring her grandmother a piece of cake and a bottle of wine, yet another undresses for love-making with the same childlike immodesty as the girl with the starry silver pieces. The clever man finds out he has a strong animal spirit, dislikes the idea of meeting a bad end with his friends, forms the group of Bremen city musicians, leads them to the robber's cave, outwits the swindlers there, but then wants to go back home. With yearning eyes, the frog king, an incorrigible snob, looks up to the princess and cannot leave off hoping that she will set him free.